First at 10, we're in the middle of flu season and there's still time to be vaccinated, but many people skip the shot saying it could do more harm than good. CS4 Stephen Sealy joins in the studio after speaking with one woman who doesn't believe in vaccinating her child. Nicole, the anti-vaccination movement has been around for decades. Parents like the one McAllen mother I spoke to say it's the reaction to the vaccines that has them saying no to vaccinations. I just I'd rather take care of like buy uh, over the counter medication, take care of myself instead of a, a shot that I don't even know what's in there. Deandra Torres is a mother of one who says she refuses to vaccinate her 10 year old daughter, but not the flu shot or none of that stuff. I'm just scared of what can happen after, you know, because a lot of kids go and they're fine and they come out and they're sick. Torres says she worries that the reaction to the vaccines can cause more harm to her child. She says she has done her own research and found some kids and adults have been diagnosed with autism due to vaccines, and she'd rather be safe than sorry. If it's not based in science, because I can say all the science in the world, but if a person doesn't believe me or they, sus they suspect I have ulterior motives, it's very hard to convince people of a belief or change a belief. Cameron County Health Authority Dr. James Castillo attributes the anti-vaccine movement to a sizable amount of misinformation. A 2013 study done by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention found that there's no link showing vaccines cause autism, stating the antigens found in vaccines, quote, during the first two years of life was not related to the risk of developing an autism spectrum disorder. You don't know what's in those vaccines, what's going in your child. They can say it's one thing, it can be another. And me as a parent, I just want to be, you know, my daughter to be safe. But getting vaccinated doesn't just protect the person. Dr. Castillo compares the vaccinations as a wall of protection. The fewer walls there are makes it easier for the virus to spread in the community. Medicine rarely works on 100 percent. It works on most of the times. So if most people have the vaccine and most people it worked, it offers this protection. Now, there are some exemptions from getting vaccinations for children. According to the Texas Health and Human Services, parents can opt out of it for religious or medical reasons. In the studio with complete Valley coverage, Stephen Seeley, CBS4 Valley, tonight.